I don't think that starts on the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. Let's get this part in. Duh. Let's get that into the general place, and then we'll adju adjust it by the other part. We'll use this to get it approximately right, and then we'll use the other one to get it exactly right. So. Okay, so um, now, knowing that it's really close, it's like a little bit late. If we have, now if we listen with emphasizing the, the, the little pinkies. So now everything should be right about in the right place. It is a couple days later and what I've got on the tracks now so far, what I've got on the computer, oh, that would have been so beautiful if I knew what to say, but I didn't. It is a couple days later, and as you saw, I got all those tracks lined up. I'm quite happy with what's on them, so I'm actually not going to be really, I don't think I'll be replacing anything. I'll be doing some minor tweaks and stuff some with the timing and stuff like that. Um, there was one spot where... Um, where Kim's vocal track just on one line was louder than the rest of the stuff on that track and so it, it was overloaded and distorted. I was initially going to be lazy about it and just kind of cover it up but then I went and put the reel back on and just re-recorded that one line and, and popped it in there so it, all's good with that. And uh, so let's show you what we've got. Okay so we venture back in again to my nice clean work area and here's project in progress. Notice that there's more there's these gaps in here between the tracks. What I did was after I lined them up I cut out the all the silent spots. So it's a little bit easier to to work with now that it's kind of organized into little blocks. Um, as you can see there isn't much of anything that actually runs through the whole track. It's it's a song that has like this whole part of the song is quiet and that's just Kim's voice and then here's a similar part that's also quiet with just the voice and a little bit of guitar embellishment and then these are the loud parts and they have a couple of like guitars on them um, so here's a couple of the things that I did first towards the very beginning of the song the piano there we go um, the piano was cut off at the at the beginning on the very first tape so this little block right here is um, off of the first tape but the, f the very beginning isn't there so I took the beginning from the second generation tape and it was a little bit more um, muffled, not muffled but uh, um, darker sounding, it wasn't as, cl as clear and crisp so in order to make it match right here at this edit point I put a low pass filter on it that would kind of um, what, what would would be a human term for it. It would kind of uh, dull the sound down a little bit and then I have it automated. See this little, I don't know if you can see that very well, but this ramping up line here, that blue line with some control points on it, um, that's where the filter opens up so that the, the sound of the piano there gets um, brighter as it goes along. So if you watch the line go along as it plays So that's our intro. We fixed the piano so that the, the piano is consistent sounding. So we've also got in this middle part where we had Kim's voice that was distorted originally. I re-recorded re that in. So now it sounds alright. Let's play it. Oh. oh, actually, yeah, that other voice is on that track. There's like two, there were two things on it. So it sounds like this. I'll be waiting for you on the outside. 
So that's actually combined her voice and quote unquote fake female voice. And if you bring in the guitars and the rest of the fake female voices with that, it sounds like this. And that's just backing right there, so that if you have the lead vocal on there at the same time, it's like this. I'll be waiting for you on the outside. So that's all fixed. Um, one neat little spot here is this, this bad, not really bad, but this uh, very noticeable tape splice. Right there. So I did some cosmetic things, and this isn't new. This was on on my second reel. Then a couple things to cover that up. One of them was this kind of raucous guitar that only plays for a couple measures here. And one thing that is is um, important to point out and this is really nice thing about being in the digital age, is that something like this, uh, that really distorted guitar track, that's going to have a lot of extra noise on the track. And um, let's hear, there's some at, towards the beginning of it too. So, before it comes in. So the nice thing about the digital editing is that you can take these parts where the all that extra noises, and you can even hear hear it. So now it's cleared off of there. So we only keep the part of the track that we need. So that way um, you're not introducing extra noise into the song. Another th cosmetic thing that I added onto that little spot to help cover up that um, that tape edit is this this little electronic noise. That's on this track right here. This kind of long one with the little bumps on it. It sounds like this. So, and that's already, that had already been done, so it's just, it's nice that it, the way it works, that it helps to cover it up. I'm sure it's not mixed correctly for this yet, but um, at least you can kind of hear where it covers up the spot. Yeah, it's definitely way too loud. Um, relative to the regular track right now, but it, you know, at least you get the idea of where it is and what it does. And then it has these other, you know, guitars are other playing in there as well. We can turn that down so we don't need it to be as loud. Hear how it sounds in context. Okay, so you know that gives you a, a general idea. And then basically, what I want to do is uh, what I still want to do with this is uh, some of Kim's voice. Let's hear that by itself, her regular vocal track. I guess you know it's over. I guess you saw it coming all along. If you only take one more home with you tonight, might be wrong this might be a good example that whether you're a tourist or a worker or whatever you have just one life okay so that line right there and towards the end of the line I like the way she sang the rhythm on it but it's a too um just too like straight prior to that so I'm gonna be that whether So up to that point in it, I'm going to probably be playing with that a little bit to try to loosen up her rhythm on that artificially. Uh, so that's I'll be that's the kind of stuff I'll be doing, um, and I'll get back to you.